Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week we are creating complex layered gel prints using three different stencils and shades of green. So you might say that I have a green thumb, but I don't think anyone would agree with you because I kill all potted plants. I kill all plants even in the yard. But anyway, I digress. So we've got these wonderful layers of green patterns and colors and I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. So today I'm going to show you how to make a complex layered gel print using patterns of stencils and masks that are compatible and will work together for beautiful layering. So the first mask that I have, this is one of my new designs from the Georgia O'Keeffe inspired collection. And I've got this out because this is a big, bold pattern. So some of, most of my designs for the Georgia O'Keeffe inspired collection are based off of her abstract, large flowers that go right off the edges of the painting canvas. So all of them are going to be big, bold, sort of abstract patterns. What do we combine that with to make a good layered gel print. Well, we're going to combine it with smaller patterns and we're going to combine curvilinear with geo geometric. So the other pattern that I'm going to be using today is Bubble Blast and this is by Barb from Joggles. This is one of Barb's designs. It's great because circles are curvilinear, they're organic, and they're going to go really well with a plant-based image. And then they're curvilinear and I typically combine that with geometric. And when I say geometric, that means my version of geometric. So I'm never about straight lines, but this one is called planes. And this is my design that's about as straight lines as we get. So this is contrasting to the circles of the bubble blast stencil, the lines of the planes mask we're going to put those two together and then we're going to combine it with that big, bold Georgia O'Keeffe mask from the new collection. So the idea is to combine big, bold patterns with smaller patterns. And when you're combining smaller patterns to combine curvilinear with geometric. So we've got three stencils here and we're going to make a complex layered gel print. We're going to be using the gel print 9 by 12 with my six inch brayer and my favorite sketch rice paper for collage. It is going to be the smooth side facing up in the pad. So we are going to use the smooth side of the rice paper as we pull it out of this pad and set that aside. So I think that in the in keeping with the sort of organic theme here, I'm going to work in a series of green paint. So when I am working with complex layer gel prints, I am working from light to dark and I am using translucent or transparent pigments so that every layer can show through the next. So the first green layer that I am going to put down is a light colored solid and I am going to use green gold for that because that is the lightest green that I've got in my box of paints. So I'm going to put out a thin layer of green gold onto my gel plate and I'm going to create a light colored solid on my 9 by 12 sheet of rice paper with the smooth side down into the paint. And this will be the base for my complex layered gel print. So you want to make sure you pull off all the paint. We've got a little bit left over on the edge there. Don't worry about striations, marks, scrapes, scratches. This is just the base layer, but that is a beautiful uh, green gold. I'm going to take my brayer here and roll it out on the surface of that so that I can remove some of the excess paint. And then I'm going to go for the first layer, which is going to be the bubble blast pattern. And I'm going to go slightly darker green with that. I think I'm going to go to permanent green light, perhaps. Here's a permanent green light. It's a little bit darker or sometimes a lot darker than green gold. 
However, it's almost empty. Who's in charge of ordering paints? There's a little bit of green gold left in the brayer. Not much because I rolled it out. It's going to be a big jump and a lot darker than this. So let's add to that iridescent bright gold. We'll lighten it up a little bit. We'll give it a little bit of metallic. And so we'll make it so that we're not jumping so dark so fast over the green gold layer. Even with that, it's quite a bit darker than this. But... We'll go with it because green gold is so light. It really is more of a yellow than a green sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna go with the bubble blast and we're gonna print that stencil onto our light colored solid sheet. You wanna make sure that you get contact with all the circular openings to the sheet of paper. You wanna press with your fingertips and the heel of the palm of your hand and get that all in so you have good full pattern on this sheet. So here we have this wonderful bubble blast pattern, slightly darker green. And I'm just going to lift this and I'm gonna transfer that ghost print onto an extra sheet of rice paper for another project. And that'll clean the plate off because this paper really tends to pull everything off the plate. That's going to be a sheet for another project. And how cool is that? And then we're back to now we have our layer of the bubble blast. So our next layer is going to be the planes stencil or the planes mask. And we need to go a little bit darker green in this or to a teal green or sort of a different version of green that contrasts with what we've got here. I think that we'll go with a little bit of a darker green. So I think that Jenkins green is gonna be our next layer of dark. So we're gonna put that onto the plate. We've got some lighter green still in the brayer. So we're gonna swirl that around and that's gonna lighten up that Jenkins green just a little bit, that gold and permanent green light mixture <clears throat> that was in the brayer. So now we've got a green that is darker than this pattern combination of greens. And we are going to take the planes mask and I am going to use the ghost print on here so that I have the lines and they're thinner. So for that reason, I'm going to take that cleanup sheet and that's going to be my first print to take the thicker lines out and then I'm going to use the ghost print for thinner lines on my layering. So this is a cool combination. That's the cleanup sheet. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to use the ghost print over the bubble blast dots because it'll be a little thinner and a little more subtle than that first print. And that's creating a beautiful complex layer with the bubble blast and the planes lines. And now we've set the stage for the big, bold Georgia O'Keeffe inspired pattern that will go on top. So now we need to go a wee bit darker in our green to have our last layer that will stand up over the previous two layers. And this being Jenkins green is a pretty dark green. So I think what I'm going to do is get some Payne's gray. And that is a pretty dark blue gray. I'm going to put a little bit of that out and then I'm going to add to that a little bit of turquoise thalo. So this is in the green blue family and it's going to be darker than what I have down. So it'll be a good final layer. There's also some green in my brayer, a little bit of green on the plate. So we're going to blend this into a nice dark teal green. And again, I'm going to use the ghost print on this because I want the positive print. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to use that cleanup sheet we've been using and pull this print and both of these prints are going to be interesting it's just that the cleanup sheet is unintended and sometimes that's what ends up being the best so here's that combo beautiful and i've got the ghost print of 
the big bold pattern that's going to go over these two layers and create a beautiful layered print. So now we've got this complex layered print of the Bubble Blast, the Plains, and the Georgia O'Keeffe big bold pattern and you've got some beautiful complex layers here and i feel like we could do one more layer with the bubble blast on top to break this up a little bit because i love the way this looks but i would love to interrupt it with a little bit of bubble blast on top so if i want the last layer to block out and stand up over the lower layers it has to be an opaque color. So I'm going to use teal because this is pretty opaque. We can't really see the tick marks through there. I'm going to put a little bit of that down. And in it, I'm going to add a little bit of the gold. That's also a slightly opaque color. But the two of these together are going to make a green. So we're going to blend that out with the color that's still in the brayer. So it's going to dull it down a little bit. And we're going to bring that more into like a greenish we're going to put the bubble blast in that and these bubbles are going to be opaque and they are going to block out our lower layers and put another layer of bubble dots on top of this big bold pattern so this will be our fifth layer we'll have the solid base layer the bubble blast the paints stripes the O'Keefe stencil and the bubble blast again. So layers are the key in complex gel prints. You want to layer, layer, layer. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get real good contact. And here we've brought the bubbles back on top. So we've got this beautiful complex layered print. I almost feel like I would love to go for one more layer, why not? with a ghost print in gold of the stripes. So this being our cleanup sheet, let's just use that to clean this off the plate. So we've got a little bit left behind, but something interesting happening here. I'm gonna put the gold metallic out into the plate. I'm gonna roll this off onto a clean sheet of paper to get the blue out of the brayer. And we're gonna roll this and see if we can keep it as gold as we can, considering the green. Okay, and we'll bring out planes and put that on top. And again, I wanna grab the ghost print for this so that my lines are nice and thin. So this is my cleanup sheet. So I'm gonna take all the paint out of the negative space. And this is getting quite lovely in and of itself. I still have paint down there. Let's get a piece of, another piece of cleanup paper. See if we can get that out because I really want just thin gold lines and not all this extra paint in between. Okay, so now we'll lift and we have the ghost print and we're gonna put that on our intended print over the bubble blast. So this is our sixth layer. And how gorgeous is that? Just adding some subtle gold lines back on top. So this is just really beautiful. I'm loving this combination of layers. And my cleanup sheet that I used in between is also beautiful and interesting in its own right. And there are some beautiful complex gel prints using two masks, one stencil, six layers, rice paper, and a lot of layering, layering, layering. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you for joining me on Friday, and thank you for watching me gel print. I'm super excited about all the stencil designs and all the layers and all the colors. So I hope that you'll be back here next week. Either subscribe or join my newsletter mailing list and get this as a blog post in your email inbox every week. So happy Friday. See you next week. Mm -hmm.